and the flying away Egyptian geese. <laughs> they have gone all the way away. <laughs> But no, we're actually looking at the hippos at Chitwa Dam and it seems like two of them were having a bit of a fight and if you can see a bit to the right of the screen, right where that one went down, there's quite a bit of water going or bubbles that are coming up. So it seemed like for a second that there were two young males that were busy having a bit of a fight. We just saw a lot of water and some teeth and open mouths and then they went back down uh, into the water. So I wonder if maybe they're going to try and do that again. It would be quite interesting to see it because when hippos do fight there's some incredible force that goes into it. The rest of them though they're probably just used to this shenanigan so they <laughs> haven't come... Oh hello! Now that was more of a yawn uh, rather than anything else to try and advertise uh, dominance and this would be the reason why they open their mouths uh, rather than not but I think like I was saying this is just yawning just like oh it's such a sleepy afternoon what are we gonna do and I think that was that however when the male hippos do open their mouth and they start moving their head in all direction and throwing water and saliva up in the air that is a dominance display just to make sure that every other male around this area knows who's in charge and who's the boss. I wonder if perhaps that's what was happening earlier on but everything seems to have been settled. Now look at the one on the left Senzo. There we go. Now there was a bit of aggression there against the youngster so this big one that's halfway in half out just opened its mouth and then chased the little one away so I wonder if perhaps it's not defending its own one or there's another little one or it's just being grumpy for the sake of being grumpy. Hippos sometimes can do funny things. Now there's another one that seems to be heading in that direction, that youngster to the left. There we go. The hippo concert. <laughs> That is amazing. I love it when hippos make that noise and interestingly enough it's a noise that can be heard above the water and underneath the water. So when they communicate and they make this, this noise, this laugh as it's called, then hippos, doesn't matter if you're on top of the water, if your head's up or if your ears are below the water, there's no excuse. Everyone will hear what you have to say. They normally make this noise as a way of reinforcing social bonds, just keeping in touch with one another. Crispy, you're wondering how often do hippos come out for air? Well, depends on their size. The younger ones obviously are a bit smaller, have got smaller lungs, so they can only hold their breath for about one to maybe five minutes. But an adult hippo, normally anything between eight to ten minutes or so on average, um, depending a bit on, on their size. And as you can see, they don't have to be fully submerged. Sometimes it's good if they just put their heads down, even if their back is out in the water. Or some, like the one to the left, or two of them to the left. Sometimes all you have to do is just keep your head up the water, your ears, and then that's pretty much it. It's not uncommon for them also to have their nostrils underneath the water and just their eyes sticking up the water. 